Hello everyone, it's time for a read aloud. So for today's read aloud, we are going to read this book called I Have Asthma, But Asthma Doesn't Have Me. And it's by a nine-year-old girl named Ryan T. Dunbar. Are you ready? Let's go. My name is Ryan and I have asthma. I've had it since I was a baby. Having asthma doesn't bother me, so don't let it bother you. This is Ryan. Do you know what asthma is? When I was a baby, my attacks happened often. It was very frightening, so I had to stay in the hospital. We have to make sure we don't run too fast and that we always pack our pumps. Although I have asthma, I can still run, jump, and play. With asthma, I feel I can do anything. You can do all the great things that you love to do. I love going to the park. I love to jump. What about you? Look at Ryan. She's in the hospital. Do you know what the word frightening means? That's right. Frightening means scared. Look, she was really scared. She was afraid. What are some things you love to do? When I was a baby, here are some of the fun things I love to do. What about sliding boards? Those are fun too. Asthma doesn't have to stop you from doing the things you love. We just have to make sure we take care of ourselves. Before I go to bed, I take a pill and my pump. They both help me with my asthma. Look at Ryan playing at the park on the slide. She told us that she has to take medication before she goes to bed to help keep her asthma under control so she doesn't get sick. Having a cold can make us have an attack too. So if your chest feels funny, make sure you tell your mom or dad because they will know what to do. Here are some signs to let you know if you're having an attack. Wheezing. This happens when it becomes difficult to breathe. It means your airways are tight and blocked. If someone listens to your chest or mouth, they will hear a whistling sound. Coughing. A constant cough happens a lot at night while we are asleep. Chest. Your chest will move in and out very fast and it will feel tight. Even your nose will tell you if you're having an attack. Nose. Your nostrils will flare in and out. When I was younger, I suffered many attacks. There were times when I had to stay in the hospital. I didn't want to stay, but sometimes I liked it because the nurses would come to my room and play games with me. Ryan listed one, two, three, four ways that you can tell if you're having an asthma attack. The food was really good too. Hospitals are not scary, so don't be afraid. The doctors are really cool. When I'm in the hospital, I spend my time watching cartoons and my favorite Disney shows. The doctors are really nice and they check on you often. I'm never sad because with them, I'll be just fine. Hi guys, wave back. It's me with my oxygen mask on. Hi, Ryan. She's waving at you. 
She's telling you that the hospital has good food and the people really care to help you. When my mom and dad have to work, my grandma or my auntie stays with me. Most of the time, my grandma loves to spend the night with me. Grandmas are awesome. We have fun together when she spends the night with me at the hospital. Always make sure that if you have trouble breathing, that you tell your parents, your teachers, or anyone nearby. That's very important. This is me with my mom and dad. They are great. This is her family, her grandmother, her dad, her, and her mom. Ryan told us something very important. If you have trouble breathing, you tell an adult as soon as you can so they can help you. This is my big brother. Terry Jr. He had asthma since he was a baby too. He's big now. He can go out with his friends, play games, and play ball. Asthma hasn't stopped him either. Asthma doesn't have to stop you from doing the things you love. We just have to make sure we take care of ourselves. I love being goofy and playing around. Asthma can't stop me and it should not stop you. This is Ryan and her big brother. Look, she's running. You see her? Who likes to go swimming? I like to go swimming. This is me and my godmother Shantae in the pool. This is so much fun. She's always finding cool things to do. It's a beautiful day today. Let's go play. See, we can still have fun with asthma. Whatever you do, don't forget to pack your pump. It is very important that we never forget it. Always remember that our pumps will save our life. You can have an asthma attack at any time. If you're in school, make sure you have your pump at the nurse's office. Having an attack can be frightening, but stay calm and you'll be fine when you take your pump. Look, Ryan is packing her pump. Remember, she told us never forget your asthma pump. And look, she's at school in the nurse's office, taking her pump. At night, I keep my nebulizer next to my bed in case I find it hard to breathe at night. A nebulizer is almost like the treatments they give you at the hospital. If the pump doesn't work, take your nebulizer and you'll feel much better. Who loves taking fun vacations with their parents? I do. Along with my clothes, guess what else I packed? Yep, my pump. I never leave home without it. Look at her. She has a nebulizer in her pump next to her just in case she needs it. And of course, she packed it when she's going on vacation. So do you remember all the things that I told you? Pack your pumps. Alert your parents or an adult if you feel sick or tightness in your chest. You can have all the fun you want, just like me. Just pay attention to your body. In case you forgot, my name is Ryan. Look, this is Ryan. Ryan is a brave little girl.
Look, Ryan even put some pictures. Do any of these pictures look familiar? That's right, we saw them in the book. But these are real photos. The end. I hope you enjoyed this story by Ryan. Ryan is a brave nine-year-old little girl who has a message for you. If you have asthma, always, always carry your pump. And if you feel sick or tightness in your chest, always tell an adult, okay? Even if you don't have asthma and you have another kind of sickness, it's always important to pack everything that you need and always tell an adult when you feel sick, okay? I'll see you next time. Bye.